I'm Mike McConnell, a former director of national intelligence and also had the privilege of serving as the director of the National Security Agency and as the senior intelligence officer on the joint staff of the Joint Chiefs. The cyber threat means that uh, the nation has become so dependent on the, the cyber or the information technology infrastructure. Uh, it's dependent for moving money, for uh, transportation, for electric power and, and so on. So uh, think of the internet that that uh, coordinates all this as one global infrastructure, one global net, and uh, billions of people have access with anonymity, and you can uh, access virtually from any remote location on the globe, any other location on the globe, so it, it puts a, an infrastructure on which we're dependent uh, in a vulnerable context from being attacked from some distant location. The U.S. government uh, investment uh, created the technology uh, which we refer to today as the Internet. It exploded on the commercial, the private sector side and essentially changed the world. Uh, it, it has grown to the point of interdependence and can touch so many lives if it were uh, contaminated in some way, if data were destroyed as an example. It is now a public policy issue that we have to have some different level of security and confidence in the net. And that can only be achieved in a public-private partnership. And there, there have been examples of, of this in the past. Uh, business interests have to be represented. Uh, privacy interests have, have to be represented. Governmental uh, interests have to, have to be players in that they're, they're focused on the safety and security of the nation and the safety and security of the enterprise. So we don't want to inhibit um, entrepreneurship or creativity or the new user experience or the next level of technology. Now, we don't dampen that down at all. But because it impacts so many people, there's a requirement for constructive dialogue with the administration, with the Congress, with the business sector, so that we examine at what I would call an all-source level, clear everyone, clear everyone to understand all the, the aspects of the issue and, and have a constructive dialogue that could lead us to uh, a better arrangement. And that's only the beginning. If we start to have that dialogue in the United States, the United States is going to have to lead that dialogue internationally because it's one global internet. Many people will, who uh, talk about cybersecurity will pick it up from the standpoint that uh, the internet grants us anonymity and freedom to search and uh, post blogs and have political dissent and so on. And no one is suggesting that we get rid of that. I mean, it's very important to maintain those things uh, based on our ideas of freedom and our core values and so on. But when an, uh, an infrastructure touches the lives of so many people, uh, it has the impact of having uh, devastating consequences. You would want some of the features of uh, uh, information security built into that part of the net. So the way I, I think about it, quite uh, frankly, is uh, if, if it's moving billions of dollars or uh, routing electricity or arranging for global transportation or routing trains up and down the U.S. East Coast, those kinds of things should be handled in a part of the infrastructure that require authentication, data integrity, non-repudiation, sort of basics of, of information security. You can have that and still have anonymity on the, the uh, World Wide Web, or as some refer to it as the Wild Wild Web. Normally the United States would only react to a crisis, and we do not want to have a digital Pearl Harbor. Uh, we, we don't want to have the crisis to galvanize us to action because if we do, then we'll probably get it wrong. We'll go too fast and we'll make some uh, ill-advised decisions. What we need is, is constructive debate and dialogue. So um, talk to your representatives, uh, talk to your business leaders, uh, ask for dialogue, and uh, be, a, be an engaged citizen. Uh, force this issue to be addressed in the near term.